Hello everyone, Silverstruck here. Welcome to the Silverstruck channel. Stacking kilo sized silver bars. What a great size silver bar it is to stack indeed. 32.1 troy ounces of pure silver, also known as 1000 grams. So there's 1000 grams of silver packed into this silver bar. It's a large silver bar, it's heavy in the hand, so why would you need to stack this much silver all in one fell swoop? And the simple answer to that are premiums. By stacking a kilo at a time, a rather large bar, you'll drop your premiums a lot closer to silver spot price than you will stacking many of the different size smaller bars. And after all, as a stacker, isn't that what we want to do? Stack as much silver as we can, for the closest price possible to silver spot price. And the kilo size bar aims to do just that. This particular kilo bar though is from Johnson Matthey. It's here for display. I have a little bit of fun here and see a nice vintage kilo bar with a really cool serial number, triple zero five zero eight. So I thought I'd bring this out for the display. But for a pure stacker, you're going to want to invest in a generic silver bar to drive those premiums down. So what if you can't afford to pick up a full kilo at a time? And I have an answer for that. And that answer is stacking a fractional kilo. I recently completed stacking my first fractional kilo by stacking 10 100 gram silver bars from YPS. And here they are right here. There are several other ways that you can stack a fractional kilo. You could stack two 500 gram bars or you could stack four 250 gram bars. But I decided to stack these 10 100 gram bars over time. I had a little bit of fun with these bars and decided to stack uh, poured silver, which does go for a little bit more of a premium than your generics, but I like to keep things interesting and I really enjoy my poured silver, so I went that route. And I've shown these bars a number of times uh, in past videos. I just, uh, just love them. Uh, they're a nice loafy bar. And you can see here we have a serial number on the reverse and some really cool pour marks. So uh, to each their own, you'll uh, find that you can find uh, poured bars, premium bars, or your simple generic bar. Uh, your pure stackers will want to pick up your generic bar over something like this uh, poured bar here. Like many things in life, stacking using this method has pros and cons. So let's go over the main pro and the main con. The main pro is going to be stacking this method offers better affordability. So these bars are roughly $100 a piece. If you are able to, to put away $100 a month into your stacking budget and pick one 100 gram bar up per month after 10 months of stacking, you'll have your very own fractional kilo. So uh, very affordable that way. The con is gonna, gonna be, it's gonna cost more to stack uh, using this method. So it will cost you more to stack your kilo than purchasing uh, the whole 32.1 ounces at, at one time. Uh, so you have that to consider. I'm gonna put a, a little bit of math up so you can see uh, in today's pricing, what it will take to purchase 10 of these 100 gram bars versus one kilo, and you can see the cost difference right there. Uh, I don't think it's uh, it's too bad, and I think stacking this method is, uh, is gonna help a lot of people out, especially if they don't think they can reach uh, the kilo level. Uh, you certainly can uh, by stacking 100 gram silver bars. This stacking method can be applied in many different ways. For example, if you were to want to stack a 100 ounce silver bar, but you can't afford that 100 ounce bar, you can simply stack 10 10 ounce bars over time to reach that stacking goal of 100 ounces. Most notably, fractional stacking is used an awful lot in gold. For example, uh, your 10th ounce gold coins, after stacking 10 of those, you would have reached your first fractional ounce of gold. So there's nothing new to this method, I do find it a, uh, a very enjoyable way to stack a lot of silver and gold over a period of time. 
So all that said, you'll have to let me know your thoughts on stacking 100 gram bars versus 1,000 gram bars. What do you prefer to stack? What fits into your stacking budget better? Do you prefer one over the other? Or do you stack something completely different? Don't forget to leave me that comment in the comment section. And as always, thank you so much for watching.